Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I'm bringing to you the Halloween tray and I am bringing to you several new DIYs for this tray. This is always a fun DIY series that I bring to you and I wanna say it's probably been a couple of months since I brought you one and I do wanna clarify something. I was supposed to bring to you a farmhouse tray before the Halloween but time is just moving by so fast for me that I really just didn't have time to do the farmhouse tiered tray. And so the farmhouse tiered tray is now officially going to be moved to January. And so that way, the next few trays that I bring to you will be Halloween, then fall and harvest, and then Christmas. I felt like just trying to squeeze another tray in there, I was just really kind of it was too tight for me if I'm being honest and so Linda and I decided okay let's just push it to January once the holidays are over and it'll be a fun tray to come out of the holidays with and so you'll have to stay tuned for that but before that we have got three other tier trays that are going to be amazing I guarantee it and today's tier tray is a Halloween one that I'm excited to bring to you because truth be told I don't do a lot of Halloween DIYs I just never seem to really feel the inspiration, but this year with the tray, I'm feeling it, and so I'm going with it, and we're gonna bring you a fun tier tray today. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let me show you some quick and easy DIYs that you too can put on your tier tray using Dollar Tree items. You're gonna love this. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. My blog is up and it is running. I will be posting a new blog every Monday and this is where I take you along with me on this next chapter of my life and all of the amazing paths that it takes me on. I get personal because everything is personal including this blog. Getting started with this Halloween tiered tray and all of the fun DIYs, Halloween equals a haunted house. So to make a haunted house, I'm gonna use one of these small arrows by Crafter Square that you can get from Dollar Tree. This does have holes in it, so guess what we're gonna do? Yep, take some spackling and fill those holes in. The color scheme for today's tiered tray is gonna be using Waverly's metallic black and the white. And I'm also gonna be going in with some pumpkin and maize. I'm gonna start off by giving this house a good base coat with the white chalk paint. Then I'm gonna go in and just freehand a roof onto this haunted house using the arrow as a guide. We're not looking for perfection, this is fun. I will tell you that all of the black that I am using for this Halloween tear tray will be the Waverly Metallic because it has such a fun silver shimmer added to it and I thought, heck, why not do it? Right? Right, because we can, why not? And yes, there is an embellishment pack for this Halloween tiered tray that is available in Linda's Etsy store for instant digital download. For the price of $3, you're gonna get the die cuts and the vinyl. If you want Linda to cut and send these to you, you're gonna spend $6 and you're gonna get free shipping. You can find the link to Linda's Etsy store, guess where? Yes, in the description box below. And so to this haunted house, I will be adding this adorable die cut that was designed just for this haunted house. Now, I will tell you that I am using a foam tape to elevate these embellishments up off of the DIYs because I feel like just adding a bit of dimension adds so much to it. And I'm feeling like this house needs to be finished off with one of my twine bows. Yep, there we go. What do I have up next for DIY number two? Now, how fun are these Halloween shadow boxes? I think I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that these are a new decor piece that Crafter Square has added to their Halloween decor this year. I think it's a fun decor piece. Because this is a shadow box, I'm gonna start off by blacking out the inside of the box because I don't want the inside of the box to stand out. On the outside, 
Less is more. This is simple. We're going to paint the ghost white. And on the outside of the ghost, yeah, we're going to go in with the black again. This is a fun piece just to kind of add one of Dollar Tree's LED tea lights to light it up and just let it be what it is. Less is more, simple is best. This was a quick and easy DIY, right? DIY number three is simple but cute. These blocks here, you're gonna find them in the toy section at Dollar Tree. They're the perfect size to add to a tiered tray, our Halloween tiered tray. Because this is a candy corn theme, I'm gonna paint one of the blocks yellow, one orange, and one white. Because I'm fresh out of that crazy glue, wood glue that I so love from Dollar Tree, I'm just gonna use some Aileen's glue and I'm gonna stack my blocks. I did add some stitching to these blocks because it needed it. And to these blocks, the embellishments that I am adding from the embellishment pack is just the letters B-O-O -O for Boo. How fun is that? Such a cute little piece, did I say, to add to the Halloween tear tray that we're doing today. Not real sure if this one would be considered a DIY using, yes, these adorable mini hay bales. Love these, you gotta pick these up when you see them. I thought that these would be the perfect addition to this just by stacking them. When you go to a pumpkin patch, there's hay, there's pumpkins on hay bales. How fun is it just to hot glue these together, stack them up, and add an embellishment to it? How fun is this? Quick, easy, budget friendly. And did I say this would be a cute addition to say a Halloween tiered tray? What do I have for DIY number five? How about some witch's brew? Using these mini glass jars that you can get just about any time at Dollar Tree. I thought these were perfect to make a cauldron kettle out of. A nice size, perfect size for our tier tray. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a good coat with the Waverly metallic paint. And let's not forget the lid. What else would I fill this kettle with? Cotton, of course. Why cotton? Because I want this to look like Witch's Brew. Witch's Brew has that steam, that smoky stuff coming out of the kettle. And so once I filled the base of the jar up with cotton, I figured for the top, just by pulling the cotton apart and just kind of layering it and adding to it, it was gonna give it that feel of the steam and the smoke coming from the kettle. I found these adorable sticks at Michael's. I paid about $1.70 for this pack. I thought this would be perfect to add to the kettle as the spoon. What else would you stir witch's brew with? A stick, of course. And you know, I'm gonna add some twine to this DIY because I felt like it needed just a little something. And twine is always that little something that I like to add. And where there's twine, there has to be a twine bow, right? Of course, look at that, perfect. And I finished it off with this cute embellishment on the front of the kettle. Look at that, we are moving right along. Seven minutes in and we're on DIY number six. What do I have in store for you with this one? Yes, using these treasure chests. I love these, Dollar Tree has these all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good coating with the black metallic paint. And to this chest, what else would we add other than these foam bones that you can get at Dollar Tree? These are a table scatter. These are the perfect size for this to add to this chest. I love it. We've got a chest full of bones. Why not? I kept looking at this chest before thinking, self, what is it missing? How did that get past me? It was missing some stitching. And of course, it needed a rest in peace embellishment there. Lucky number seven, what do I have in store for you for this one? Although these are not Dollar Tree, again, these are a burlap bag that you can get at Michael's for $1.50. You're getting two in a set. I thought that these would be fun just to take the black metallic paint and put a pumpkin face on. Stuff them with some cotton and bam, we're done, right? I told you these DIYs are quick and easy. Anybody can do these. So come on, do a tear tray with me. DIY number eight. I'm using these wood utensils that I picked up 
this summer at Dollar Tree. Now, if you can't find these at Dollar Tree right now because these are a seasonal item, you can find wood utensils on Amazon for very inexpensive. And if you're doing tier trays, these are a fun piece to add to any tier tray because look how simply it is to DIY them. And the outcome is adorable. For DIY number nine, I'm gonna be using these DIY wood ornaments that come in an eight pack. You can get these at Dollar Tree for just about every season. And I just did a banner using these. And so I figured why would I not incorporate these into the tray? So with these, I'm gonna paint them the same way that I did my banner. Because we're going with the candy corn theme, I'm gonna give this hat just that, yellow, orange, and white stripes. The cat is gonna get black with some white stitching and of course we're gonna go with orange and some yellow stitching for the pumpkin now because i want these ornaments to stand on the tray i don't want to lean them against anything i'm just going to attach a jenga block to the back of them and yeah look at that we've got some ornaments and cute little diys that are going to stand on our guess what yes our halloween tiered tray aren't these adorable look at how fun they are Oh my word, the fun is almost coming to an end. We're at DIY number 10 for this tray. This DIY is a repeat, but I'm showing it to you because I know so many of you have told me that your Dollar Tree doesn't carry these plaques by Crafter Square that come, I want to say, in a six or an eight pack. You could get the planks and you can get these square ones that are four by four inches. When I see them, I always grab a couple because it's not something that is kept in stock regularly, but I like to incorporate them into my DIYs. Now, if you can't get your hands on these, the other day I did a Halloween garden banner and I did something very similar to these plaques by using popsicle sticks. I glued 11 of them together side by side and it worked just as well. And so you can do that with this DIY if you can't get your hands on these plaques. Once I gave it a good couple coats of the orange paint, I decided to go in with my round sponge dapper and just add some of the maize yellow dots to it. How fun is that? And then I did go in, but I don't show it and add, guess what I added? Yes, some black stitching with that Waverly metallic paint. And again, yes, I am going to add a Jenga block to the back of this plaque too, because why would we have it lean up against something when we can easily just add a Jenga block to it and stand it up? And would you look at that? We're on DIY 11. This is the last non-repeat DIY for this Halloween tiered tray. And it is using these adorable corked bottles by Crafter Square that you can get, guess where? Yes, at Dollar Tree. I found them in two different sizes. So I'm gonna use two of the larger, one of the smaller. And I thought it would be fun to make potion bottles. Halloween potion bottles. Yes, of course we gotta add these to the tray. And so I'm gonna make two sets of these. So I'm gonna use a total of six bottles. And again, because this is, yes, the candy corn theme, I'm gonna do two bottles in yellow, two bottles in orange, and two bottles in white. If you can't get your hands on those mini corked bottles, Dollar Tree also has these fun mini bottles. I had these in my stash because I have incorporated them into previous tiered trays. And so I thought, heck, why not incorporate them into this one too? My idea behind bringing you so many DIYs for these tiered trays is not that I expect you to do all of these DIYs, but to give you options, to give you choices so you can pick and choose which ones you like and which ones you don't. And so with these, I'm just simply going to paint the lid on them and call it a day. Maybe add some twine. I gotta add twine. Okay, seriously, look at how stinking cute these are. And these embellishments are perfect for these potion jars. And for these jars, I thought it'd be cute just to add some sprinkles to them. I'll show you some of the quick repeat DIYs that I am incorporating into this tray that you have seen in past tiered trays. Of course, I'm gonna add books because I love the books. Books are probably one of my favorite DIYs to incorporate. Of course, I'm gonna add the beads. How fun is that? This candy corn theme is my favorite, along with this tag. A birdhouse is a must. It's too stinking cute. I am adding a rolling pin as well and this adorable Sunday. I love those. Some of the items that I picked up from Dollar Tree that 
you'll just be seeing that I plop right onto this tray are, yes, some of these adorable gnome fairy garden men. I thought that these were cute. I'm gonna use the orange and black witch's hat and this adorable votive. Some of these black berries as well. The witch's brooms, how cute are those? And some of these orange pumpkins. Who is today's KB Creations crafters of the day? It's going out to Claudia Hunter, who's bringing to us her lemon tear tray. Love it. How about Brenda Ricks, who is bringing to us her 4th of July tear tray. Love it. And lastly, we've got Meryl Wright Thomas, who is bringing to us all the fun items that she made for a tear tray, and I am loving the way she displayed them. How fun did that tray come out? I love it. For somebody who doesn't do Halloween very often, I love this tray and I think it's definitely a piece that I'll be looking forward to pulling out every Halloween. I hope you all enjoyed today's Halloween tiered tray and all the fun DIYs that I added to it. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and the comments that you do leave down below they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say, stay positive and bye for now.